Hey family, this is Grammy y'all. Coming out here, my husband tilled all this for me. I'm out of breath. I've been working it y'all. So what I did was the white stuff you see is perlite. That's fertilizer. I got um, miracle Grow down perlite and coffee grinds. And along with the, the regular dirt that was in the ground. So if you get up here closer, they may be a little close together. But anyway, once they get larger, I'll move them. I have jalapeno peppers. There's a mystery pepper because my husband didn't put what color pepper it was. Orange bell pepper, red bell pepper, green pepper, and I did some onions. I put three or four little corns on the back of this fence. We're going to see what happens with that. Uh, right here, I threw some cucumber seeds down about halfway. So let me get down here to this other end. It looks like it's going to rain. I love it because that rain is the, really, is the miracle grow. Because that rain that comes from Yah, it has that nitrogen in it. And it does better than just regular tap water. Okay, here we go. My first row, okra. So I have a whole row of okra. This thing is long, y'all. It may not look long on the camera, but this thing is long. Then here's my row of cabbage, whole row. And I have some dwarf kale. So when I can find the state, okay, there it is, dwarf kale. I ran out of the door kale about halfway down. So I just went on and um, used Dino kale. So <laughs> Dino kale, they like gigantic leaves. So halfway down, it's going to be those Dino kale. So I try to plant like things together. And right here is going to be the um, Southern collars, the Southern Georgia collars. And I have a whole row of that. And y'all probably hear me. I, I, I'm out of breath. I am. I am really out of breath. Putting all these seeds in the ground. Right here, I have a whole row of the yellow squash. I even put the date on it, 4-9. Whole roll of that. And then I did a half a roll of the um, Black Beauty squash. And was sharing the other half roll of the Black Beauty squash are the cucumbers. So I just want to let y'all know that your Grammy y'all been out here working. We're going to see what happens. Oh, and I also planted around the perimeter of my garden, marigold. I heard that the marigold helped bring the bumblebees. Because if you follow me last year, I had a time with the bumblebees in Maryland. But I'm down here in North Carolina now and... I'm thinking I'm not going to have a problem with them because I already see some, but just in case, I did plant some marigold. All right, you guys, I give all praises to the Most High. We're going to have some food growing in here real soon. Something about this North Carolina soil, it does a doggone thing. And um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. This is my garden. Um, come out here another couple of days and um, I'm gonna probably go along this fence right here. Just my little trash pile. You know, when you in North Carolina, you know, you can burn trash in your yard. But anyway, beyond this trash pile is my uh, garden bed that my husband built. But right along here, I'm going to do snow peas, uh, snap peas, some type of peas that I'm going to run it along the fence so I can do that. And I have my grandsons with me this week. And um, we're going to come back out here. And one of them want to do honeydew. And one of them want to plant uh, watermelon. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to let them do that. But here's 
my garden bed, you guys. This is week three. Carrots, look at that. All salads. All salads. Look at them. Look at them. Yeah, but um, we're out here. We're doing the thing. I just want to thank my husband for tilling all that over there. All that. All that. He tilled all that for me. And now we have seats in there, you guys. So, if you like the video, hit like, share. If you have not subscribed, subscribe if you like to. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bless you. Bye.